so many times when you just show up to do the work, you'll find that when you finish, you'll feel shifted and a little better. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm going to share this on my Facebook page. And if you're watching, take a minute and share it too. And uh, we'll get going. And thank you guys and gals, humans, dogs, puppies, cats, who's ever joining us here tonight. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. As you can see, we have all of our puppies in the house. Buddha's over there. Bella's going to be walking around the whole time. Girl and Bodhi are sitting right over here. They'll probably come sit here at some point. And, uh, you know, this transmission is for all. Even though you're the one doing the work here, it's going to uh, overflow out into your life, which means your animals, your pets, your plants, your home, your family, your friends, your loved one, your children, your parents, all of it. So the work you're doing right now is first and foremost for you, but then it unfolds and flows out into your life. So you're actually doing work for the greater good right now. So... Um, Give yourself some kudos for that. And thank you so much for joining us. The best way to experience this transmission is to plug into some speakers. Here comes Mr. Bodias. Um, you can watch this. We've seen a lot of people um, put this. They either somehow project it onto a large computer screen or they airplay it right to their television, whatever. That's great. I love seeing that. And thank you guys so much for your videos, Jenny and Crystal and everyone that's been sharing it and spreading the love, we super appreciate it. Palmer was probably gonna make some shout outs here in a second. Um, but most importantly, uh, the best thing you can do is amplify the audio because the audio is the real key of this transmission. We do all of our sound healing instruments, you'll hear our voices, and we really guide you. In fact, for most of it, we're gonna encourage you to keep your eyes closed as this allows you to go inward and Take some of that time that you've been spending focusing outward and direct that inward so you can really make some shifts within you. And just like Kamala mentioned, you know, um, we oftentimes come here and lately we've definitely been more vulnerable, but we oftentimes come here and we've had tough days and we've had challenges, uh, whether it's our relationship, whether it's our home, whether it's something with their animals, you know, there's just life happens um, but we show up and we're here and oftentimes we put that stuff aside or sometimes it does creep into the practice and you guys get to see that but it uh, shows you that shows it allows us to be vulnerable which hopefully allows you to also be vulnerable and feel more human because we've never claimed that we're our gurus or gods or people that you guys need to look up to and if you do look up to us thank you but we've never asked that of you guys um, all that we really claim is that we have learned teachings, technologies that have shifted us, and it is our mission to continue to share these with you guys. So um, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Thank you, Ellen, Jennifer, Vanita. I can't see many people up here, but we have, it looks like around 20 people watching. So thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, I've, uh, today was a rough day. Um, we woke up to finding out this series, uh, cousin has, was taken to the ER. Um, he has uh, a coronavirus, so he was taken in. So that was just, you know, to start your day on a note like that is, is always interesting. And many of you know, one of our roommates decided our rules were completely unreasonable, um, which were very, we think normal, um, you know, just being safe and, and so he's moving out and that and instead of it just being a nice smooth transition it was very dramatic and uh, most of you know and most of you um, your homes are your sanctuary your safe place and so it's it's very rattling and I'm a cancer so home is like my crab shell and <laughs> when it's not stable I feel very uh, uncomfortable um, and so to be straight out honest I went up and did a meditation right before class and I did the Wim Hof breath and through my meditation I was just crying and I was fine you know I just let myself cry and just breathing in love and breathing out love and visualizing our whole community happy healthy and whole and you know and then I but then I did the Wim Hof breath I did a couple of rounds as fast as I could and uh, I feel I feel a little bit better um, but this is a tough time it's testing us 
you know there's little things in relationship when you're in a relationship and you're together all the time no matter how much you love each other how much how solid your foundation is um, there's challenges you know and uh, you know we have our home is being shaken up our family is being affected there's like all these things and so I'm letting myself like <sighs> just breathe through it and know that things are going to shift and and I love you and I thank you for all that you do. Siri makes delicious food. He is such an amazing person. He's like an amazing partner. So I know that a lot of it is just me and feeling rattled and shaken, but I don't know if any of you can uh, <laughs> are feeling any of that. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's us in our weird bubble. Anyhow. The whole um, world is feeling it right now. I can testify yeah, yeah so we love you and and we feel like you're here in this room with us and with that being said hi gretchen ellen oh thank you ellen sending prayers to your cousin siri mm, thank you yeah he's yeah. uh he's had uh coronavirus for close <laughs> to two weeks and he had a fever for about 11 days that just wouldn't break the fever actually finally broke but this morning he woke up and he, he felt like he couldn't breathe. And so that was like the final straw that broke the camel's back for them to um, call an ambulance because it's my cousin's husband. So he's like cousin-in-law, something like that. Um, and she also, because once one person in the household has it, it's pretty much guaranteed that everyone in the household has it. Yeah. So she also had it, but her symptoms were very mild and she's through it. Nonetheless, she couldn't go to the hospital with him. So she had to call an ambulance and send him away in the ambulance and just stay at home. Uh, but lo and behold, she she's feeling better. She knows she, he's in good hands. And so, whew, it is a wild time. Guys, it is so important to quarantine and take every safety precaution necessary to yes. flatten this curve so we can stop the spread of this virus and get it under control. Daniel Pritchett just joined, and Benita hey. says, thank you both for what you give to us. There are a lot of powerful shakeups happening for me right now, too, sending you love and strength, and she's also just so very thankful for our morning and night shift. So let's get fucking shift-based. Yeah. I hope there's no kids watching, but if so, that's probably one of the lighter things they've heard. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Let's get um, let's, shifted. Let's get shift-based in the house. Okay. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? Go for it. Okay. So let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall on your mat. Hopefully your home is nice and cozy. Sink your booty down on the floor. Pull your shoulders back. Let the corners of your lips tilt upward. Take a deep inhale. And let's sigh it out. Ah. Ah. Draw your shoulders back as you sigh. Deep inhale. And again, louder. Ah. Ah. Deep inhale. Hold. Sip in more breath. And I want you to think about three things or one thing that made you feel grateful today. Let that fill you, fill you, fill you. Whenever you need to, powerfully exhale that out into your room. And hold empty. Turn your palms up and really focus in on what made you feel grateful. And let that gratitude fill you. And let the corners of your lips tilt upward. Now take a deep inhale. And open the mouth, fearlessly sigh it out. Ah, oh. Shake the shoulders, hands, hands, elbows, make a little noise. Shake up the day. <laughs> Inhale, reach up to the sky. Stretch, exhale, palms touch, slowly bring them down to the center of the heart. And breathing here, oh, precious prana, this breath, life force, moving in and out. It is time to really be grateful for your breath. 
every breath you take is so, so sacred, so special, so breathing, and just feeling that connection to your breath. And may your connection with your breath tonight be deep and be really powerful, special for you tonight as you journey through this practice. Focus on it. See if you can breathe a little deeper, really strengthening your lungs with every breath, every breath a healing breath. Now bow your chin to your chest. And place your left hand right where the collarbones meet. And first we're just gonna just pound on this area a bit. Not too hard, but not too soft. This is the thymus, and Miranda was talking about this. It really stimulates the nervous system. So then rub, and imagine you're pressing love into your body. And this virus attacks our lungs. So every breath, every single one, imagine healing energy coming into the lungs and rub. Good, now place your right hand on top of the left, holding the high heart. And bowing your chin to your chest, bow to you. You are a warrior. You are showing up to do this work day after day, even throughout the challenges. What a gift you are to you, to your family, to your children, to your animals, to this world. I hope you see and feel that. Take a moment to tell yourself, I love you, or I am working on my love for you, whatever resonates for you. Thank your body for its health and ability to heal. And just reflect on your journey, everything that it's taken you to get to this point where you give back to yourself every day and send yourself some love. Good. And when you're done, letting the hands drop down on the floor, fingers open wide, deep inhale. And as you exhale, imagine pressing down through your mat, through the rocks, the wood, the gravel, the dirt, the sand, to the core of the earth. And as we bow our heads, we bow to you, Mama Gaia, Pachamama, who gives us everything we need every single day. We thank you for this gift. We thank you for all of your elements supporting us on our journey. And we see that you are able to breathe a little bit better right now as we are not polluting the skies with our airplane. The fires have calm and you are revitalizing and we are so grateful for this. When we make a pact with our heads bowed to do our best to walk impeccably upon your skin, to give back to you on a daily basis and to be the example, always the protectors of this earth. Send down a prayer to this earth through your hands. And placing your hands gently on your knees. Let's inhale, pull the shoulders to the ears. And exhale, roll them down your back. If you need to sigh it out, do it. Inhale, pull them up, squeeze. Exhale, roll the shoulders down the back. And again, inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down the back. And reverse that. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. And again, inhale, back and up.
blessing of healing, a prayer of healing that just travels in through the mouth or nose, actually in through the nose and into the lungs and into every vein in your body, into the blood, into your cells. Let's go. Let's do some 
circles with the knees. In one direction and then the opposite direction. Good. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our head up, pull our nose to our knees, wrap your arms tightly as you can around your shins, nose into the knees, and begin breath of fire. So with this breath, you're pumping the navel on the exhale. Focus on the exhale, and the in-breath will come naturally. If you've never done it before, stick your tongue out of your mouth. And pant like a dog. Focus on that exhale. shoulder blades rest down on the mat. You're doing such a good job, friends. <sighs> good. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, knees into chest first. Wrap your arms lightly around the shins. Rock from side to side. Tell yourself, I love you. Thank you. And then just stretch out on your mat. Flat on your back. your hands on your heart, feeling this precious heart beating so strong. Thank this heart. Thank yourself. Deepest breaths right here. Great job, friends. As we lay here, now we prepare for some breath work as we get to share with you one of our favorite breathing techniques. And at this point, you're probably like, man, the Wim Hof breath again? And we're like, yes, because that is how powerful and special it is. I don't think you could really ever do this enough. All right. Our pups are going a little cuckoo nuts here, so we might have to put them out of the room. Well, let's just do the breath work. They'll chill. <clears throat> yeah, they're just right next to the mic, and just one wrong move can mess the whole thing up. All right, so you're laying down on your back as we prepare for this breathing exercise. If you don't know the Wim Hof breath, what we're going to be doing is taking about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth. Really big inhale, and just a soft exhale. We're letting just about a third of the breath out. Listen to Kamala. Good, so go ahead and follow in right now. That's it. Big breath, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. Yes, you want to breathe so deep that your belly is expanding up. But not just your belly, your lower ribs, your chest, your heart center, your whole torso is expanding. Exhale. 
allow yourself to take a nice big deep inhale. And when you do take that big breath in, you're going to hold in right at the top. And we hold in here for an extended period of time. Try to do at least 15 seconds, but if you can, hold longer. Right at the heart center. 
thanking it right now as though you already have that here in your life. Beautiful job. And when you've held in as long as you can, just relax and let the body and breath come back to neutral. And if you're still in the breath, fantastic. Join us when you're ready. But if you have finished, we're going to go ahead and bring the knees up into the chest. Take the hands on top of the knees and just draw circles in one direction. And then go in the opposite direction. Good. And take your feet, place them down on the earth, like just about six inches away from the body. Bring your feet and knees in so everything's aligned with your hips. Good. What we're going to do is on an inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky and try to reach down and grab your ankles. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together here. And now we're going to exhale, slowly lower the hips all the way down. So we're going to be pressing the hips up in a dynamic movement that looks like this. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Good. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale down, keep it up. Inhale up, exhale down, good. Powerful breath, let the eyes be closed. And when you lift up, squeeze those glutes all the way up as high as you can. together into prayer into foot prayer position and let the knees open up wide on your mat creating the shape of a diamond with your legs and take your hands if you'd like to place them to the insides of the thighs and gently fold those knees a little deeper down to the earth maybe gently rocking left and right and here we just relax take some long deep breaths And then when you're ready, just stretch your legs straight out onto the mat in front of you. And we come into a nice, relaxed position for a few slow, deep breaths. Try to let your body relax as completely as you can here. So hands down by your sides, palms facing the earth. Make sure your lower back snuggled down. We're going to inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, lower the right leg, lift the left. Inhale, right, left down. Exhale, scissor. Powerful breaths, focusing right on the core of your body. If you need to tuck your hands underneath your lower back, you can. And 
and I like to not bring my feet all the way down to the floor. I think they come around four inches off the ground. Find a pace that feels good for you and keep your legs as straight as you can. And if you need to do one leg at a time, do that. I'm gonna clasp my hands behind my head actually. Gently pull your knees into your chest and take your hands out to your sides. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let your knees fold over to the right, all the way over and take your gaze to the left. Breathing here into the lower back. If you want to kick this up a little more, you can take your right heel on top of your left knee. Whatever feels good to you. Breathe. Breathe into the lower back. Stretch. Taking this precious pause for your body. <sighs> Let's sigh it out together. Deep inhale. <sighs> good. Inhale, engage your abs. Lift the knees up. And as you exhale... You're gonna rotate both knees over to the left. Nice and slow. Take your gaze to the right and breathe here. Feel that nice stretch in your lower back. Inhale together. Rock up and down on your back. Take your feet up over your head. Have fun with this. Good. All the way over. And since this feels so good, two more times. And on that second rock, we're just going to rock into plow pose. Now, Wiggle your shoulders together by rocking carefully from side to side. And clasp your hands, if you can, behind you. Get your shoulders even closer. Breathe. Feel that nice stretch on your shoulders and your back. Deep breaths into the belly. On your next inhale, lift your legs so they're parallel to the earth. And I know you can't see them, so just do the best you can. Now, bend the arms. Take your hands to your lower back. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, use those legs and the abs to lift you straight up into the sky and the shoulders stand. Flex your feet. And imagine I'm pulling on your heels, lifting you up. 
Breathe, yogis. Now deep inhale. And as you exhale, keep both legs straight and drop your right knee towards your nose. Straight legs. So you can point the toes or flex the feet. bend the left knee. We're going to make a big, huge circle all the way around. So your right leg is up and your left leg is down. Breathe here. So. Shoulder stand is the queen of all asanas. And some say it's the most stress relieving pose in yoga. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to bring the soles of our feet together in that foot prayer position. Tap your tailbone, knees down and out to the side, making a diamond with your legs. Good. A few deep breaths here, and then we're going to exhale and open up wide in the upside down straddle. Good. Flex your feet. Maybe gently rock the hips from side to side. Almost there. Deep inhale. And exhale, bring your knees toward your ears. Good. Now, you can either keep your hands on your lower back or carefully reach around to grab your feet. Take a deep inhale wherever you are and use either your hands on your back or your hands against your feet to roll the body down as slowly as you can. Now tuck your knees right on the outsides of your rib cages. Take your feet in your hands and rock from side to side. Happy baby. Breathing here, rocking. Oh, that should feel really good on the lower back. your body all the way out onto the earth. Good job, friends. Deep inhale together. <sighs> Relax here for a moment. Fantastic job, you guys. Hopefully you're feeling all these shifts swirling, whirling within you, around you. And this next exercise, we are also going to be focusing on the core and the navel, and it's called stretch pose. So you're going to be laying down on your back, and we're going to be using breath of fire. So first and foremost, bring your feet together. Your legs are nice and tight together. You're going to point your toes. You're gonna lift your head and shoulders off the ground and hands reach down towards the feet. Stare down right at your toes and now or begin breath of fire. And if you're new to the breath, open the mouth, stick out the tongue and pant rhythmically like a dog. And then close the mouth and transfer the breath to the nose. Now we're going to raise the right foot six inches off the ground. Keep the breath going.
Good. Now for the last little bit, both feet up, six inches. You can do it. 30 seconds. Just imagine you're like butter on a hot pan, just melting, melting, melting down into the earth. Oh. And just take as much time as you need. Take about three to four more breaths. These times in between the exercises are almost as equally as important as the exercises themselves to give your body a little time to just relax. Imagine you're next to a beautiful beach with the waves crashing. The sun is shining, there's palm trees. You can hear the birds flying above the head. You can see the dolphins jumping out beyond the surf. And the sun feels so good on your body and you just feel so carefree and at peace. Now when you're ready, you're gonna come rolling over onto your belly as we wind down our practice and get ready for the sound bath. But we've got just a few more exercises to do. So coming down onto your belly, point your legs and toes behind you, take your hands underneath the shoulders. We're just gonna come into a modified cobra, baby cobra. So lift the chin, lift the head, squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring the elbows tight and try to be very light on your hands here. And now begin to breathe long and deep. Good, now we're gonna stretch our arms out to the sides and keep the breath going. If you'd like, you can lift the feet and the legs off the ground too. Long, deep breaths. Now imagine you are like a bird flying over, up in the sky, over the mountains, the trees, the rivers, the streams. Maybe you want to sway a little to the right or a little bit to the left. Good. Three more breaths. And then you're going to stretch the arms out in front of you. Now imagine you are superhuman flying through the sky. Stretch, lengthen, reach. You're flying. Your whole body is activated. Three deep breaths. around to the back, bend your knees and grab your ankles here. And just for a moment, lower the whole body, but keep hold of the ankles. Just take a little breather. And now on an inhale, you're going to lift the legs, lift the head, lift the shoulders, lift the chest, and imagine you're trying to look up at the ceiling. Keep the breath going smooth, long, and deep. Now let the whole body gently sway left and right. And just do your best. Good. Push the feet away from you. Push the feet into the hands. Help you lift up a little more. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, the chin is going to fold into the chest. And now take three deep breaths as you gently sway the head and neck left and right. Inhale. 
fire. Good. Head is lifted. Shoulders lifted. Legs, feet lifted. Good. 20 seconds. pose, Shavasana, where we get to bless you up with some of these sacred, ancient sounds. And the more comfortable and the more relaxed you can be here for these next 10 minutes or so, the better. So if you need to, grab a blanket, cover your eyes, put a pillow underneath your knees to bolster the hips. And together, let's take a nice big deep inhale. Hold the breath for five four, three, two, one, exhale the breath, and relax.
bless your body, bless your heart, bless your life, bless your fight, bless everything you call family, bless your true friends, bless your community, Bless your strength. Bless every place you walk. Bless the words you talk. Bless your thoughts. Bless your dreams. Bless your worth. Bless the earth. Take a nice big deep inhale and exhale the breath. Another big breath in and softly exhale. Letting the fingertips and toes begin to wiggle left and right. Rolling the wrists, the ankles hands and the feet, take the arms, stretch them up and over the head and squeeze. And as you exhale, relax the body and bring the knees up into the chest. Take the hands on top of the knees and begin to draw circles in one direction. And then go in the opposite direction. And then wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down on your spine, rocking up and down, up and down. Keep going, rocking all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. And then you're gonna rock yourself up into a seated position on your mat as we close out our practice here tonight. Do your best to keep your eyes closed and be still as we rub the hands together. Press the palms together, press the thumbs into the center of the chest. And as we breathe here in these final moments, first, take a moment to send some love out into the space that you're practicing today. Fill it up with a form of light, with gratitude, and just be so grateful that you have this space. We will bless the spaceship, and we will also bless this technology by which we are able to transmit to you. Thank you. And now thinking about one person or even a group of people in your life that are going through a little bit of a challenge or a struggle, and I want you to beam them out some love from your heart to theirs and let it flow freely and effortlessly. And then take this light and you're gonna shine it as far and wide as you can until it covers this entire planet, sending peace, harmony, goodwill, happiness, prosperity, abundance, health, wellness to anyone and everyone that needs it everything and anything so really send it out and then let the chin fold into the chest as a form of recognition of bowing to yourself the teacher and master that is you honor your higher self your true self honor your physical being your body and lastly we extend gratitude to our teachers our mentors and all of those that have shared these teachings so we may be able to practice today Satnam, Satnam. Namaste, Namaste. Aho, Aho, blessed be. And when you're ready, just let the eyes slowly blink open with a soft gaze. And just feeling all those waves of love, of joy, of gratitude wash over your body let it keep unfolding out through the rest of this evening the rest of this night tomorrow the rest of the week and we're so grateful that you tuned in and joined us tonight what a special way to be able to spend time together even though we're apart we are somehow connected so thank you special thank you to kamala for being a great leader and just shining so bright so thank thank you reflections of you thank you so much siri and uh, yeah, what a joy, what a pleasure to be able to share. Um, <laughs> all of Bella's got something to say. Go say hi, Bella. <laughs>
Um, all of these classes we're offering essentially as a gift to the community. If you feel called and you're able to, we kindly accept uh, donations. You can send that to PayPal, yogagalactica at gmail.com. Our Venmo is the at sign, Yoga Galactica, all one word. You could go to our website, uh, yogagalactica.com, and there should be a donate tab right at the very top. And um, it's not required, it's not an obligation, but we do greatly appreciate it. And we just cannot wait to be back sharing time and space together here and anywhere. But for now, stay safe, stay at home, and uh, but reach out, send comments, share. We love hearing from you guys. Yes. Kamala responds to pretty much every single message. So we love you and thank you. Thank you and thank you.